Let's learn in this video how to create a simple CI pipeline for a web application in Azure DevOps. Let's first start explaining the flow of this pipeline. Initially, we would have the application source code into the developer machine who will go to push it into a Git repository. And then after a pull request, that will go to trigger the build pipeline. And now this build pipeline will run some steps into a virtual machine that is typically dedicated to run that pipeline and that inside virtual machine would have a build agent installed there that will go to connect to our DevOps tool. In this case, it's Azure DevOps and that will get the file or the YAML file describing the steps of this pipeline. And those steps actually will be those one right here. So it will start first by cloning the application source code because that build agent or that build virtual machine doesn't have the application source code so it needs to download it then it will go to perform a restore for the dependencies this could be like the NuGet, npm maven packages for example and then it will go to build the application to generate the application package then it will go to run the unit tests to make sure that package doesn't have bugs and then it will go to upload that package into an article fact so that it can retrieve it later from the release pipeline. We'll explore the release pipeline in next uh, uh, videos. Let's now focus only on the build pipeline. Let's now go back to our pipeline and to demo this pipeline, I have prepared a sample web application in this GitHub repository and I've put also the pipeline that we'll be exploring today, which is Azure Pipelines CI.yaml. This is uh, the web application that I'll demo. It's a .NET Core application that uses the web app.cs proj as the entry uh, point for this, uh, for this application. And then to create the pipeline, I'll go to Azure DevOps, sub my subscription, then created, I have already created a new project, then I've gone to pipelines and I've created a few pipelines here. Let me show you how that works. So I go to create a new pipeline, click in this blue button here, and then I choose the, where my application source code is. So in my case, it's on GitHub, so I choose GitHub. Then you authorize to the GitHub subscription. And then that will retrieve your repository. So you choose the one you use for this demo. In my case, it's this one here. Now Azure DevOps detected that in that GitHub repo, I have a .NET Core code written in C Sharp. So it will suggest some templates that uses the uh, .NET uh, uh, right here. I don't want to use any of these. So I'll go to search for more templates and I can find here one specific for .NET Core. And note that there is there are also other templates for Android applications, for Docker, for Kubernetes, for HTML based applications, Maven for Java and many more. In my case, I want to use the template for that .NET Core. So I select it and then that will generate a sample YAML pipeline for me that contains here the command .NET build in order to build my application. I have actually come up with another pipeline, which is this one right here from the YAML uh, CI.YAML file. Let me explain the content of this pipeline. So first, it sets up here this trigger. A trigger will say when this pipeline should run. And in this case, when I say none, the only way for me to run this pipeline is by clicking on the run button. But what I can also do is that I can set up a pull request or I can set up a commit on a specific branch, for example, in order to trigger this pipeline. Next, I would have here the pool that will describe when, where this pipeline should run, in which virtual machine or in which build agent. In my case, it's I'm choosing here a virtual machine that is Windows Server 2019. Then I have here some variables. So I have a variable, I call it build configuration with release that I'll be using later in my pipelines in order to build against that build configuration. And next in steps, this is my main uh, steps for the pipeline actually. So I have a few uh, tasks. First task that I have here is the .NET Core CLI. But let's, what is a task actually in Azure DevOps? A task is what you can see here on the right section. If you go, if you don't see it, you just click show assistant and then you would see all of these tasks displayed here. If you, and uh, these tasks, um, those are the ones that will perform the actual uh, job inside 
uh, inside the pipeline. So these tasks will help you to perform different uh, uh, different things in your pipeline, whether that is building applications or deploying into uh, cloud uh, platforms or uh, anything of, the, of that. So if you have like Java applications, you would just search, search Java and you would have tools that will help you to build and deploy your uh, Java applications, for example. For my case, I have .NET Core, so I just select .NET Core from here, and then I select the command that I want to use. So behind the scenes, this task will help me to run .NET, um, .NET CLI commands. And for that, it's asking me here, what is the command you want to run? So I say here, I want to run the command restore, for example, and then I just need to fill these, uh, uh, these text boxes right here. I have already done that. So if now I go to click settings right here, this link, it will, um, it will reflect those changes into this window right here so that I can see I have specified my CS proj into here to restore packages described in that CS proj file. Once I have my NuGet packages, then I go to build my application. So then I go to use the .NET Core CLI uh, task in order to uh, run the command build. So this will go to run .NET build on this CS proj file, and then I select the configuration release. And then third step here is to go to run unit tests. Um, so with unit tests here, I again go to choose um, another fold, another project actually, which is the unit test project and not how I'm using wildcards to say search for any uh, file that uh, respects this name. And then after that, I go to create the web app package using the command .NET publish as one of my commands that will generate that uh, zip file uh, for me. And then I go to upload or publish that zip file into artifacts in my Azure DevOps. So that's the content of this pipeline. Uh, now, if I go, if I want to run it, I just go to run this pipeline, click run, run. And from here, I can see that job started running. If I click on it, then I would see the different steps for my pipeline. I have actually a complete uh, pipeline that did run completed. So here it will perform all those operations that we have seen earlier, checking out the application source code using git uh, clone. So here it's using some git commands to get the source code. And then it will go to restore the NuGet packages. So it will run the command NuGet restore. Uh, it will download all the packages from internet into my uh, local folder inside the build agent. And then it will go to build the application. So for doing that, it will go to uh, run the command .NET build. So here we see it's uh, using .NET.exe file and the build command and then specifying the CS proj for my application and adding some other uh, parameters there. Then it will go to run the unit tests. So for that, again, it will be using again .NET exe .test in order to run the unit tests against my project. And then it will go to create the web app package and again .NET and then the command publish in order to achieve that. And after that, it will go to publish the artifacts into a container called a drop in my Azure DevOps. And then it will go to clean up the build agent. We can see the results here. If I go back to the build uh, number there, then I would see uh, that because this I have already run it my unit tests, I can see the result of these unit tests. So it tells me 100% of these tests did succeed. If I just go to remove the um, the filter, I would see my two unit tests right here. If I go back to the summary and then I go to the published folder or this link from here, I would see the drop folder that contains my web app.zip file. Great, I hope you liked this video and remember the source code for this pipeline is available on this file right here where you find it all. Uh, follow me next to view a more complete CI pipeline for web application in Azure DevOps.